trying to explain the concept of acting to my mum, my parents, Nigerian, and they just wanted me to be a doctor. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna be an actress. And she was like, so what, what is that? Even though like, even though it's got its struggles and its difficulties, I still feel like I was super fortunate to be in this position in the first place. Clearly making enough money to make this a real job. Mm -hmm. and pay the rent. Yeah, that's, that's the definition of a job, right? Pay the rent. Mm -hmm. Pay the rent. <laughs> yeah, it's double edged. We're really privileged to do what we do, but at the same time, when someone says that and you think about the work that you put in, you're yeah. like, really, really? When I'm working 24 <laughs> 7. Yeah. Everybody always says, what have, you been it, in? what have you been in? And usually, have you been in these standards? Or have you been in casual? Do you get that? Casual. Um... Casual say or how be say? Art is just a hobby. Yeah, a hobby that you get paid for. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I mean, it is. I mean, isn't that the dream? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's implying there's something easy just because something's good, and that's bullshit. At drama school, they'd say, you're doing a Mickey Mouse degree. <laughs> and actually, we were the ones in at 8.30 in the morning, still there at midnight, you know, working. And everyone else did seven hours a week. When I was at school, people were like, yeah, yeah, but you'll be a teacher, you know. Just go and do mm. a pro go and study to be a teacher first, and then it'll be always be a safety net when you fail. Do you have a backup plan? Which I guess is when they're expecting us to fail uh, in the next year or so, and then... Or some kind of super fragile bubble bursts and we're unable right, to do Right, right, right. If you say as a young person you want to work in our industry in any way, people just want to shut it down. Anyone, teachers, you know, people, random people will just shut it down and say, we've got a backup plan, well, how are you going to do that? What are mm -hmm. you going to do? Instead of going, great, off you go, give it a go. I definitely have people being like, oh no, do, um, just make some really realistic tanks because that'll get you hired. Like, that's, that's real, like, <laughs> proper game art. Make some, make some guns. And I'm just like, don't want to make guns. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to make whimsical, brightly coloured worlds. I'd say follow what you're passionate about and don't worry about what specific necessarily what specific area of the industry you want to go in at the beginning when you're young. There are definitely days, I think, for any creative which are really difficult where you just think, maybe I should have a backup plan. <laughs> but um, usually that isn't the case. I just think that we live in an age where you, you just have to do what makes you feel joy. <laughs> <laughs> there are times when it is such hard work and you're literally banging your head against a wall and then there are other times when you do a creative job where you do feel so lucky that that's what you get up and do in the morning and that that's, you know, you get out of bed for that, it's brilliant. It's never not hard work, but it's fun hard work, so it's like, I get what they're saying, but at the same time, don't dis diminish the amount of work we put in because it's, it's a really tough job sometimes. If it's a funded film or, or TV um, programme or series, those kind of things, everyone else is paid, so yeah, don't do it for free. Yeah. But if it's something like a student film or something, then I think that's sure. different. And I think that everyone also has to get some experience. It's like, oh, I can't pay you, but it'll be great exposure. Oh, it'll be really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>